During interviews with Xinhua, some Iraqis denounced on Monday the U.S. airstrikes in Iraq, stressing that such attacks violate their country's sovereignty and brought destruction. On January 3, 2020, a U.S. drone carried out a deadly attack on a convoy near the Baghdad International Airport. It killed Qasem Soleimani, former commander of the Quds Force of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, and Abu Mahdi al-Mahandis, deputy chief of Iraq's paramilitary Hashd Shabi forces. America violates the laws, and it hit Iraq at the Baghdad International Airport, which led to the martyrdom of Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis and Qasem Soleimani. This is a violation of Iraq's sovereignty, and for us, this is a major crime. The United States brought terror, chaos, and devastation to the Iraqi people and the Arab countries. Generally, America brought false democracy and freedom. They claim it is freedom, but it is a false freedom. After Saddam Hussein's regime was toppled by U.S.-led troops in 2003, many people thought that the United States would bring development, prosperity, and progress to the country. But in fact, the U.S. interest was above everything, and its invasion into Iraq was only to control the oil and the Iraqi economy to make Iraq completely dependent on the American side. The U.S. airstrike that killed Soleimani and al-Mahandis sparked tension and reprisal attacks between Iran and the United States on Iraqi soil. Two days after the airstrike, the Iraqi parliament passed a resolution requiring the government to end the presence of foreign forces in the country. On December 29, 2021, Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al-Khadimi confirmed the end of the U.S.-led coalition forces combat mission in Iraq after the withdrawal of the forces from the country.